So welcome back to Daily Transfer Update. Happy hump day, people. Thank you for being that close to 15,000 subscribers. Big up every single one of yourselves. Big up Acid Khan, my guy. Big up Wavy Ames and big up Enigmatic Emery. All three of you guys are my guys. You know who you are. I don't need to say no more. But we are linked with three players today. And let's just get straight into it. Uh, Mario Hermoso, centre-back from Espanyol, 23 years old. He is under contract until 2020. Um, he is a Spanish international. He has made his debut against Bosnia and Herzegovina. And PSG, Bayern Munich and Arsenal are all chasing after his services. Um, he has played 35 games this season three goals and like I said he is playing for Espanyol in La Liga which in my opinion is the second best league in the world after the Premier League. The only catch with this guy is the fact that Real Madrid, his former club who sold him back in 2017 to Espanyol have a buyback clause and that buyback clause is 7 million euros they get the first pick over every single European giant. If they don't want him, that's fair enough. Even if they do want him, it's down to him where he goes. Um, obviously, they could bid 7 million. Arsenal could go 12. PSG could go 15. Bayern could go 20. It's down to him where he decides to go. They have the first option. And the first option is 7 million euros, which is extremely cheap let's be real what five million quid um like i said he has played for espanol 35 games this season i watch la liga i've watched this guy i think he's a decent center back i wouldn't say he's in that top tier that elite that um van dyke delict cooler valley level nowhere near but he is definitely that next level down and if we could get this guy for about 15, 16, 17 million euros, what, 12, 15 million quid, I think we have had an absolute bargain. But that remains to be seen. Obviously, that's going to track on. Um, and like I said, Real Madrid have got a buyback clause. So let's see what they do. If they activate it, why would you not go back to Real Madrid, one of the biggest clubs in world football? Why would you choose Arsenal, PSG or Bayern Munich? Let's be real. Um, second player we're going to talk about today is Thomas Partey. Uh, spoke about him the other day. Again, this is gaining traction. 25-year-old uh, Ghanaian international. Um, 2023 is his contract at um, Atletico Madrid. 32 games this season. Three goals, four assists. 50 million euro buyout clause, which is 44 million pound there or thereabouts. Um, personally, I don't think he's going for that much. I do not think he will leave at Atletico Madrid for that much. Um, he has actually come out openly and spoken about a move away, um, which makes me think that he is definitely going to leave this summer. But at the same time, this could be a ploy to get a better contract at Atletico Madrid. Um, he has said, it is hard for me to talk about the current situation. Um, at the next minute, I'd love to um, leave the club. But at the same time, I am contracted to Atletico Madrid. And it means I cannot leave right now. Um, at the same time, he has also said... I owe Atletico Madrid everything I have grown into, blah, 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 blah. All lip service, all uh, PR, all PR game. And at the end of the day, these people, they come out, they say what they've got to say. They pull it in the open media. It gets twisted left, right and centre because it gets lost in trans, um, translation. And at the end of the day, why speak? Why speak? You're opening yourself up to get absolutely destroyed by your own set of fans. Atletico fans must be fuming right now. Listen, this guy is a talented kid. Talented kid. He's 25 years old. He's in the prime of his career. He's about to hit that peak. 
and he could go into any team in world football. And I mean any team in world football. This guy is genuine quality. But you've come out and you've opened your mouth. Why would you do that? Genuinely, why would you do that? I don't get it. Um, either you're trying to get your agent to get you more money where you're at, at Atletico Madrid, or you're trying to get a bidding war, you're trying to get more wages by going to a bigger club, a better club, a more competitive club, etc, etc. Not that Arsenal are that right now, because let's be real, Atletico are miles ahead of Arsenal right now. Um, all the clubs that are linked with him, Juve, Bayern, PSG, etc, etc, they are all light years ahead of Arsenal. Even Man United are linked with this guy. Um, now listen, Man United are in the same position as us. Yeah, they are in the Europa League. Um, we have got a Europa League final to look forward to. If we win that, that's a game changer. That means that a Thomas party could come to us rather than going to Man United. Whether they offer more money, weekly, monthly, whatever it may be. If he comes to us, he's coming to us because it's Champions League. Man United can't offer Champions League. But we shall see. Anyway, the last player we're going to be linked to today, before I get into that, stick a thumbs up on the video, share the content around. Like I said, 15k is that close, so thank you very much. The last player we're going to get into today, I cannot pronounce this guy's first name, so I'm just going to go with Palacios, which is his surname. Um, he, is a, um, he is a River Plate 20-year-old. Um, he is a right midfielder, um, and... He made his debut when he was 16, um, 16 years old, injury free. He has played umpteen games for them, um, 18 million pound buyout clause, which is around the 20 odd million euro um, buyout clause. But again, another one, his agent has come out and said that he is leaving for England or Germany. And... I don't like it when these agents come out. Listen, these agents have got loud mouths. They come out, they want a big payday. Let's be real. Unless you're Mino Raiola, yeah, or some super agent like him, you ain't getting a big payday every now and again. When you're a super agent, yeah, you're getting a payday every couple of years because you've got Pogba, Mickey, um, you've got Mbappe, whoever you've got on your books, you are getting a payday every couple of years. When you're a lesser agent, that's when they come out and speak. They talk too much. They talk way too much, in my opinion. Right Now, this guy, hands up, I have no hot idea who this guy is. Genuinely, never seen him play. I ain't going to sit here and lie and blag it and go, oh, yeah, by the way, I think he's this, he think he's that. I've never seen him play. So, why would I sit here and lie? He's 20 years old, he plays for River Plate, he's a right midfielder, he can play central midfield. He's being scouted as an Aaron Ramsey replacement. Listen, you've got big shoes to fill if you're an Aaron Ramsey replacement. Um, 18 million quid? I'll take that. I'll take that. Listen, I've said for a long, long time, if you were South American and you were coming to Arsenal, you've got a big heart massive heart and we need more South Americans at Arsenal because listen they will do absolutely everything to win a football match yeah we've seen it with um, Luis Suarez yeah when he played against Ghana in the World Cup I think it was it the World Cup I think it was the World Cup and he's handballing it on the line listen they will do absolutely everything to win the game but like I said I ain't got a clue who he is anyone can enlighten me stick it in the comment section down there Happy Wednesday, everybody. Let me know what you guys think about Thomas Party, about Palacios, and about Hermoso. Is... <laughs> I can't even pronounce his name. Hermoso, exactly. Hermoso. Hermoso, Thomas Party, Palacios. Leave it down there. Apologies for the, uh, the stuttering across the way. I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Leave it down there. Anyway, I'm out of here. Later, <laughs> peeps.